Well, I'll go on YouTube, or should I say, Gamajoba. Now, listen, bruv. Listen, bruv. Georgia, super proud of you, bro. You don't even understand how super proud of my, I am of Georgia for qualifying to the round of 16 out of the Euros. This was the first time Georgia's been in the Euros, bruv. And they've qualified for round of 16, played dominant football, played beautiful football, so that the commentators, every second the commentators have been praising how Georgians can carry the ball. And I've been seeing it long since last year. I've been seeing it like Georgian footballers know how to carry the ball, bro, which is insane. I, bro, I'm telling you right now. You know what's funny, guys? My uncle, he lives in New York City. I live, well, I don't want to tell you where I live, bro. But, you know what I mean. I Y'all probably, you know, it's whatever. But he lives like... He lives in the same state as me, but like a distance, right? He called me after the game, and he's like, did you see the Georgia game? I was like, yeah, I was watching it. I told him I even just uploaded a video because I just uploaded my initial, my instant post-match reaction I uploaded a couple hours ago. Y'all going to see it. Um, Y'all probably were sleeping when I uploaded that video, but I uploaded my initial reaction to the game, like after the game ended. Um, I'll probably link it at the end of this video. You can go watch. But, man, he called me. He's like, because I've been telling him about Georgia, and he watches my YouTube channel, so he sees stuff about Georgia, too. So he was asking me if I watch the game, and he was saying, bro, they play, they can play football, man. But, yeah, man, Georgia can play football, bro. Like, brilliant stuff, mate. I'm not even going to lie. Like, from the first minute of the game to the very end, it was, it was nice to watch. You know what I mean? I can't even imagine how you guys feel as Georgians watching, man. But subscribe if you're not already, man. Road to 100,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be checking out the goals of the game from this bootlegged highlights. You know, we can't watch the official highlights because copyright reasons. So we have to watch this one, man. But let's check it out. Man. Let's go. Let's go, bruv. Soon. Two, one. Let's play football. All right, let's get it. I don't want to black, um... Cover Scaler's goal, bro. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Let's go. First minute of the game, bro. Let's go. Kvicha. Kvicha. Let's go. You know what's crazy? I feel like nobody's going to break that record for Georgia in a long time. If you think about it. Like, he has the fastest goal for Georgia in the Euros. If you think about it. He has the fastest goal for Georgia in the Euros. The goal came in the second minute. That's what they counted as the second minute. But realistically, it was one minute something. You know what I mean? I don't think anybody will break that anytime soon, bro. Like, because you got to understand. Euros only come, like, what? Every two years or something like that, bro? And then, um, you know, you're not sure if you're going to qualify for the Euros. And also, you don't play a lot of games in the Euros. Maybe four or three max games. So, it's going to be hard for somebody to break that record right now. So, I feel like um, Kavara is going to have that record for a long time. The fastest goal for Georgia in the Euros. I feel so. Mamo. Yeah, Mama Dash really for you, bro. Man's the GOAT. You thought, Ronaldo. You thought, bruv. Suey. 
Ronaldo thought you can't pass my guy, mama. That's really bruv. Messi, can he pass him? He can't pass him, bro. Talk to them, Messi. Come on, bro. That's not gonna lie. I respect Ronaldo, though. I can't lie. I respect Ronaldo as well. As a Messi fan. Let's go. Mika Tudz, bro, is leading goal scorer in the tournament right now. Crazy. I was crossing my fingers up on this. Yeah. Bravo. Let's go. Love you, Georgia. Not today. Not today. Let's go, Mama Das Really. You know what's the funniest thing about this? I have a lot of Ronaldo fans that were DMing me on Instagram because I was celebrating Mikataz's goal. Like a lot of Ronaldo fans were, were 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 messaging me on Instagram saying, Bro, I knew it. You you they're saying I'm a Ronaldo hater, bro, because <laughs> I was cheering for Georgia. That's funny, bro. Yeah, they know I'm a Messi fan. That's why they say I'm a Ronaldo hater, but I don't hate Ronaldo. I like Ronaldo as well, not because I'm a Messi fan. But they were no match for Georgia. Oh, we don't want to hear that, bro. We don't want to hear you right now. But let's talk about the game, mate. Beautiful scenes, bro. If you don't know, Georgia. Yes, let's go, bro. I talked about the game in my other video, like my initial reaction. So I won't go in depth. But, man, I got to say, man, I know y'all are celebrating. I know a lot of people didn't even go to bed, bro. It's late in Georgia and a lot of people didn't even go to bed, bro. But, man... It's nice to see the whole world is waking up to Georgian football and I'm glad for that. I'm happy for that, bro. I feel like the world was sleeping on Georgian football. That's what I feel. And what I've seen from the start of this tournament, they weren't paying attention to Georgia. I don't think the people people were actually paying attention to Georgia in, in, um, in this Euros until after the Turkey game. I feel like people really started paying attention because they saw how Georgian... Georgians play football, bro. They're like, oh, shoot, people are holding the ball. You know, they play as a unit. They play as a team. They don't play as individuals. You know what I mean? And that's what helped them to reach that far in the Euros, bro. Like, we've seen it in the Czech game. Like, they should have definitely won that game. But it is unfortunate. But they still made it through. And to be honest, Georgia could have topped this group. Before the games were played, everybody was counting Georgia out in that group. I promise you, I've read the comments. I've seen online when people predict the game, the, the group stages and stuff. All Everybody's prediction, they didn't have Georgia to go through, bro. And now, they got to change their tone. Now, listen, Georgia has Spain now in the round of 16. Let's see what can happen, bro. I still believe Georgia can win, bro, and go through, bro. I, I don't know why I have so much faith in Georgia football team, but I've seen enough, bro. I've been reacting to Georgia football players since last year, bro, so I know I've seen them. And I've seen the belief that the country has. The country has a fighting spirit like my country where I was born in Jamaica, bro. We have a fighting spirit. In Jamaica, we have 3.2 million or 3.4 million people living in Jamaica. Georgia has 3.7 million people living in Georgia. It's similar population. I know how it is as small countries to fight and, and be. I feel like small countries, people from small countries are more proud of their countries than people from big countries. Because they, they're used to everything. They feel like, oh, everything should be. You know what I mean? They get everything easy, bro. But no, we are fighting countries, bro. We know what it is to grind. And, and put our countries on the map, bro. And that's what Georgian footballers are doing right now, putting Georgia on the map, bro. So I'm extremely proud, bro. So boy, them to the man. Go watch my initial reaction after the game when my adrenaline was pumped up. It's gonna be right here on the screen. You don't know. Or if not, go watch my football highlights right here. Show me some love. Do you think? Do you think I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a good footballer, bro? Do you think I'm a good defensive midfielder? Let me know down below. Uh, watch these videos right here, man. It's your boy, I love y'all, man. Subscribe if you know that we out here. Peace, Georgia. Let's go.